Well, Chris, the one reason as well, when you say, you know, we can't be Clemson or Georgia right now and maybe never will be is, you know, we want our coaching staffs to grind and grind and grind and recruiting is a grind, but there's only, only so much time and resources that there's limitations to that. So if you're going to say, we're going to recruit like Georgia and we're going to go after all the five stars and the high fours and you can't get them, then you've wasted all that time. So there's a strategy to it. There's got to be an approach to say what's realistic, what's legit. We're not going to be backed down by anyone. We're going to go for it. But at the same time, what's realistic? Because if yeah. we get in all these fights with Georgia, Clemson, mm -hmm. and Alabama and lose them all, then we've missed out on all these kids that are going to mm -hmm. Tennessee and Kentucky. Yeah, I mean, you, you still throw your hat in the ring for sure. But again, like you said, it's just, you know, just, it, it's the star system's not perfect. You know what I mean? It, it, it's not perfect, right? It, it's a flawed system to a degree. And again, like I told you, uh, Eric Kimry, who I, I don't think he'll mind me name dropping, who was our tight ends coach last year, he literally told me, he said, Chris, the top 100, they're no brainers. They're, they're, I mean, for the most part, right? I mean, I say that. And, you know, we got a couple five stars on our roster I won't name that I'm waiting to pan out as five star guys. Um, but for the most part, those guys are no brainers. Those guys are, Hey, they're projected to be next level NFL guys. If they don't get drafted, you messed up somewhere. But the difference is identifying the 250th versus 600th best player. The star system is not perfect. You know what I mean? I've almost gotten to a point. I look at three star guys as, and I know this may be unfair. I hate to blanket all the guys. I think every three-star guy or the majority of them can be big-time players. It's all about going to the right situation, going to the right situation, going to the right coaching staff, being in the right system. I think a lot of that plays into it. You know what I mean? So making the best decision off the jump in recruiting and, hey, maybe if you, I guess if you got to, utilizing the transfer portal to your best ability. And, and that's what we haven't, Mark, that's what we haven't really touched on is the transfer portal because that just changes everything. We can talk to where blue in the face about recruiting and we can talk about how it impacts grabbing the right quarterback and this, that. 